Hey YouTube, I'm Gary from Life of Gaz and today we're going to be looking at how mice develop. We're going to do a day by day run through on the development of the youngsters right up until their breeding age. Now I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you find it helpful. Well for breeding mice within this project and tracking the growth rate what we need is a tank to keep them in. I've drilled out the front for a water bottle, a little piece of wire just to hold that on, a little hide in place We've got the inside of a toilet tube, lots of things for the mice to play with. Obviously food, I'm using sunflower seeds, millet, rabbit food, pig pellet, as well as a little bit of cat biscuit and grain as well for a nice even mix for my food. And then also I've got some bedding, some just some shredded toilet tissue, uh, some, some sort of kitchen roll and that can go in the back corner. Now the trick to breeding mice is making sure that they feel safe and secure. I've got a female, a Burmese point, which has just uh, be, uh, got a very big belly and is ready to start, uh, ready to get ready to build a nest. You can see the size of her just there. That belly is full of little babies. Now she's gonna go in there. We're gonna just leave her to it, let her build a nest. And once she's given birth to the babies, we'll start tracking the growth of them. Two days later, my lovely little mouse here has decided to give birth. She's got five babies hiding away just underneath her there. What I'm going to do is wait for her to move off of the nest. I'm going to weigh one of these babies and then we're going to track their growth. The day of birth on the 22nd, the baby weighs in at 2 grams. I'm just going to slip this baby back into the nest. And slipping him back into the nest is easy because mum's over here, she's quite friendly and she always comes to see what I'm doing. Now I handle these mice all the time and I know this mum is completely fine with me and she knows my smells otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. Day one you can see the baby's feeding because we've got the milk in the belly just there and we weigh in at three grams. Two days old three days old just starting to see some color I reckon this one could be a try, but we'll see when that fur starts coming through. Four days old, five days old, six days old. Now we're starting to see what we're starting to get with these guys. So I've got the whole litter here. And now you can see we've got a tricolor, maybe two splashes, and possibly two Burmeses. Six days old. Seven days old. Now they're getting enough fur, it's actually very easy to sex them at this age. All you do is just turn them over and I would say that, that one's a boy because there's no nipples. The rest of the litter, if you have a look at them, you can see that one is, uh, this one here is a girl. If you can just stay still a little bit, you can just see the little dots which are the nipples in the armpits. Now out of the five mice I've got, uh, out of the five baby mice I've got in here, we're just going to go through sex in them all. We've got two boys and a girl so far. Uh, this little tricolor is a girl as well. You can see the nipples just next to my finger. So that's two and two. And last but not least, out of the five, it looks like we've got three girls and two boys in the litter. Eight days old. Nine days old. Ten days old. 11 days old, 12 days old and at this age their eyes are now starting to open. Day 14, day 16, 21 days old, 25 days old. The mice are now 30 days old weighing in at over 20 grams. I wait for them to get to 20 grams before I wean them so it's now time to take these guys away from their mum. This girl now is now 41 days old, she's 26 grams in weight, so it's actually a good time to start pairing her up. She's mature and she can breed from now on out. Now once she's mated, it'll take 18 days uh, for her to give birth, and at 18 days she'll start the cycle all over again. So I take them away from the males so they're not constantly pregnant. Now if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and please leave any comments as well.